A new day has begun. I'm gonna clean myself up, take a shower, and check in with you in a second. And of course, I gotta take a shit. Good morning, guys. It is weekend for me, so it is 9.45 in the morning. It is Saturday. Welcome to this video. I hope you have a great day. Keep that beautiful smile on your face because you are beautiful. So, I did say in my last video that I was not going to upload anymore, or at least I was changing up my content. I don't know, guys. I'm really confused, and I don't really know what I want to do, but I do want to pick up the camera today and just film a raw cheat day so that is something that I want to do I will talk about that in this video but yeah I'm not gonna stop with YouTube I'm just gonna upload a bit less videos and, and it's not gonna be the same as it was before because I really don't know what I want to upload so I'm gonna start this day as always with a delicious cup of coffee <laughs> It is a rainy morning, but it is so beautiful. It is not too cold, not too warm. It is just perfect. So I'm starting my day with a coffee, and I am having a cheat day, a raw cheat day. I'm not going to count anything. I'm not going to use healthier options. I'm just going to use, like, sugar in my coffee. So I'm going to use sugar, and I'm going to use this delicious powdered milk. Starbucks got nothing on me. Oh, yeah. So here we go. Cheers, guys, on a good weekend. Nothing better than full fat sugar and delicious milk. I wasn't really motivated in my last video where I talked about stopping with YouTube and not uploading as much. And maybe it was the time and the moment I wasn't motivated. At, at the moment, I, I feel okay. I can film. I can pick up the camera and just film stuff. But I'm not going to do like fitness related stuff. I'm not going to do workout videos or something like that because... Fitness is not something I want to do anymore. I will continue my fitness journey. I will continue fitness. Fitness will always be passion of my life. I will never stop that. But I don't feel like filming fitness stuff, fitness related stuff, like full day of eating. I'm not sure if I will want to want to do that again. That's why I'm doing cheat days, and that is what I'm gonna head towards to. Yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> I got interrupted, so I had to go to my room. But yeah, guys, I'm not going to film any fitness-related stuff. What I'm going to do, what my plan is, so for now, is uploading once a week. And I'm going to allow myself to have one cheat meal. My plan was not to cut this year. I wanted to do the summer shredding, but I decided not to do. So what I'm going to do is just eat really clean, really healthy, clean the whole week. And then ha allow myself to have one cheat meal. And I'm going to film that cheat meal or cheat day. Depends on what I'm going to have. Depends on how. I feel so today I'm gonna have a cheat day I'm not gonna count macros I'm not gonna count calories I'm not gonna go to like 20,000 calorie challenges just gonna have a relaxed cheat day and besides that I really don't know what I want to film I don't know what I want to upload yes I will upload once a week I might skip a week I don't know guys I don't know I don't feel that motivated at this point maybe it's just the heat of the moment but at this point I don't feel that motivated I feel them gains, but I don't feel motivated. So I'm going to enjoy this coffee. Delicious, sugary, milky <sighs> coffee. And I'll check in with you with my first meal. And it's going to be delicious. It is now 10.30, almost 10.40 in the morning. I'm ready to make my breakfast. I changed up my shirt because I spilled water all over the old shirt. And during the weekends, my mom always makes like puff pastry. So what I'm going to make for my first meal is something with puff pastry so I have here cheese I've got some sausage a big ass sausage I've got some cheese I've got some salami so I'm gonna make something savory for the first meal so this is like a really big roll of puff pastry which is rolled up I'm gonna roll it out cut it in pieces and just fill it with the cheese and the salami I'm not gonna have too much I'm just gonna have like a piece of it, two squares. Here we go, just cut one big piece and just in half so I have two squares. And I'm gonna try something new. So first off, in one I'm gonna add some, let's see, let's some ketchup and mayonnaise. Or this is mayonnaise, I'm gonna add some ketchup like that. Just spread it 
in the middle and normally I would just like close it up so you don't see the inside but this time I'm gonna change it up so what I'm gonna do is cut into the corners like this so in every corner just a slice take one piece of the salami put it inside take some cheese put the cheese again on top of the salami take one more slice of the salami just top it off and then take the puff pastry and just gonna fold it over the salami and just make a pocket so you can see somewhat of the filling and just pinch the sides like this so it's like a pocket I'm not sure if this will work we will see but it looks kind of good though and with the other one I'm gonna try something different which I saw on in on the internet so I'm just gonna cut on the side like this let's see I'm not sure if this will work guys we will see just cut into it so what I've done I went on the side of the pastry and I didn't go all the way through because I want to get this side and just wrap it over the next filling that I'm gonna have and you will have like a a rose or some sort and on this creation I'm gonna use some smoked barbecue sauce just a little bit on the thread it all around gonna take my salami or this sausage gonna cut a slice of it and just gonna put it on the bottom gonna slice one more half put it there and I have this like pineapple flavored spreadable cheese this is like pineapple flavored has like pineapple pieces on top and it's like a soft threadable cheese just gonna put it on the salami hopefully this will melt I'm not sure we will see just playing around with it and now just take the corners and pinch it over the salami and the cheese just take the corners and just at the end pinch everything together so you can see somewhat of what I mean this will puff up and will give you like a rose look and this is just a pocket so two creations are done now I'm just gonna take it put it in the oven and bake it it has been like five minutes and it is puffing up it is growing guys but before that is done I wanna I'm craving something else so I'm gonna toast up a piece of bread radio I'm gonna toast it up I will have some cream cheese smoked chicken and some avocado I will also add some low-fat mayonnaise and some sriracha sriracha a little bit burnt but it's all good cream cheese on there a little bit more cream cheese add some mayonnaise on there some sriracha smoked chicken avocado it's not the prettiest side but it is delicious though and my toast is done a simple free snack before the real breakfast mm. the kick from the sriracha really good And for real, this will go like two bites. That's bite three. Bite four. Bite five. Can I fit it in my mouth? Buonissimo. Mmm, that was creamy, that was delicious, and the puff pastry, I'm so excited for that, so let's go upstairs and enjoy these things. And we are in my room with the two delicious puff pastry creations. I have to say, they look delicious, guys. You can see what is inside, instead of just, like, wrapping it up, you can see what, what you are eating, and just, this, not the best creation, not the best looking, but at least... You can see I did put some effort in these two things. So yeah, let's try them out. And guys, these cheat days are just gonna be raw. I'm not gonna focus on filming. I'm just gonna put the camera there. I'm just gonna eat what I have and just enjoy my time. I'm always overthinking the filming, overthinking what I should do, where, which angle. And I'm not gonna do that anymore. So I don't know the calories. I'm not tracking anything. Just gonna enjoy it. Here we go. Barbecue sauce with the ham and the pineapple flavored cheese. It's like a sweet cheese. So let's try it out. Oh, it's kind of hot. Ooh. Like a chicken flavored ham and with the barbecue sauce. Just got a message. And the puff pastry, you can't beat that. Mmm. 
the cheese like sweet the ham is like somewhat fatty and the smoked barbecue sauce wow mm. really good so simple to make but yet so tasty I could easily sell these in the store, but everybody can make this. Wow. Mmm. But I'm so excited for this yellow cheese and salami creation right here. This looks like a pizza. I should have added like oregano or something. Try out this puff pastry pizza lookalike. Oh yeah. It's so cheesy. Oh yeah, that cheese though. Mmm, on point. Not too bad if I say it so myself. A bit too cheesy, <laughs> not really good. The salami is like really fatty, that is the only issue. Maybe because I'm not used to it. Best part are just the corners of the puff pastry. Mmm, mmm. Cheese strings. Ha, <laughs> see, I could eat like 10 of these. Really good. It is 11.30 and I think I said it's Saturday, but it is Sunday, guys. So it is 11.30 and it's time for dessert. Time for some cereal. You might think, why are you eating cereal after that cereal cheat day? But guys, I have, I have these like two boxes of cereal that I'm gonna try right now. I'm laying on my bed and it's just like staring at me and I just have to try it. I was so curious on this strawberry flavored cinnamon toast crunch. So right now I'm gonna have this as my dessert today. And guys, this smells so, so like fruity, so like strawberry. And it has like a swirl of pink, like icing on top. I think that's strawberry flavor. But the smell, it's like so strong and like so strawberry. So let's try it out. I really want to try it out. I haven't tried it yet. So here we go. Whoa. It reminds me of like a... Mmm. It reminds me of a cookie that I had as a small child. Whoa, this is so... Whoa. I can't remember me which cookie it was, but this is so... It reminds me like of my childhood. Straight away. This small cookie, I can't remember it. It's like so strawberry. I wish I tried or started my cereal cheat day with this because it's so delicious. So I will have like half of the box of this cereal as my dessert. I really wanted to try it out. Let's go and have it with some milk. Let's try it out with the milk. Mm, one more bite. In one way, I like it more dry. I don't know why. But in one way, <clears throat> it's like tastier dry. <laughs> I don't know. When I tasted it dry, it was so much better. But with the milk, like nothing the less, it is still like such a great cereal. Mm. Just the smell alone, I'm gonna give this cereal like a 9 out of 10. It is somewhat fruity. I prefer chocolate, but this is like reminds me of my childhood, which like brings memory back. So I'm gonna give this cereal a nine out of ten. It is so delicious. I don't know how much I put in here. <laughs> I didn't weigh it out, but yeah, I'm gonna eat it anyways. And and just enjoy this day. Almost done, just a little bit left. And what I do want to try out again is the cereal dry. Because with the milk, you can't really taste the strawberry. So the milk, always the best part. A little bit in there, a little bit more like that. And try it dry and really see if it's better dry or not. Because it has like a sugar coating. Not sure if you can see that, but it has some kind of like sugar coating. When you add the milk, it dissolves in the milk. So I think... No. I know for a fact it is better 
dry. Sounds really strange, but so much tastier. The strawberry flavor comes out more when it's dry. Way, way better. Mm. Oh wait, that is not everything. Because I'm gonna have some more cereal or breakfast stuff. So with my cereal cheat day, I had this strawberry cinnamon toast crunch left and I had this treasures breakfast stuff left. So I'm not sure if this is cereal, but I did bought it with my cereal cheat day and I did not try it because I was so full. I wanted to have it and I still don't know how to call it, but this is like a white chocolate and dark chocolate flavor and I've got to try it out. I'm craving this. It was on my bed laying around and I got to try it out. So here we go. First bite. Mmm. Mm -hmm. It is chocolatey, really chocolatey. Let me get you, give you a cross section. Mm. You can see like the crunchy outside and some kind of white stuff in the middle, which is like white chocolate. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, it is good, but it has not. You can't really taste the white chocolate. Seems more like yogurt or cream filling, not like white chocolate. I'm gonna add the milk with this one because I know with milk this is way tasty especially when it gets soggy second bowl of this morning this one is better with milk <clears throat> i can kind of see why this is not like cereal why people don't call it cereal because it's like dense, it's like chocolatey and it's more calories. And not really something you would have in the morning. I'm one serving or like two, three of these things. But it is delicious though, especially with the milk. It's like silky, sugary. Way better. Mm. There we go. My morning is done. It's almost 12 o'clock. So even though this is a cheat day, I will have one multivitamin. I'm gonna have one multivitamin and I will have two fish oil as always. Even during my cheat days, I like to have or get my vitamins and supplements in. These are the only supplements and the five grams of creatine that I'm gonna have in a second. Five grams. So this was my breakfast. I will go to the gym. It is 12 o'clock. Go to the gym in an hour from now. I'm not gonna film that because this is like a cheat day and I don't want to stress about filming. Just want to relax, want to hang out and show you my cheat day. This was my morning. Check in with you after the gym with a snack or my dinner. Hey guys, there we are again. It is 4.30 and I just got home from the gym. I took a shower and I'm so lucky. I got home and my sister-in-law asked me if I wanted to try something she made today. And I was like, I have a cheat day, so why not? And the thing that she made are... Tacos. So she made like these corn hard shell tacos with like ground beef, courgette, corn, some lettuce, some bell pepper and at the end yeah she added some kind of sauce or so. So she made these homemade. She didn't make the hard shell tacos, she bought it but she made everything else. So the ground beef she cooked, baked or fried the courgette and the bell pepper and added the, and added the corn at the end as well some lettuce for the crunch. So here is a close up. These are like hard shell tacos with ground beef and lettuce on top. And I'm gonna have three of these because it was left and I thought why not? I have a cheat day. So with this I do love some cake or some spice. I'm gonna have sriracha. Just gonna add some sriracha on top because sriracha I'm not sure how to pronounce it on top. And I love some cake. But yeah let's have some tacos. Delicious tacos. Mmm, I live in Holland and we are not really big on burritos or tacos. Mmm, really good tacos and especially with the sriracha. Ooh, gives like a kick to the, to the food, to the meal, which I really love. I love some kick or spice to my food. Mmm, kind of fatty ground beef and the oil is like dripping off. Mmm. But it is really good. And this is basically gonna be my pre-snack before the dinner. Almost 5 o'clock. I will make something. Like I'm craving some kind of fries. I'm not sure if I will make regular fries or sweet potato fries for my dinner. Real dinner. This is just a snack. Mmm. 
And guys, I hope you like these like raw cheat days. It's gonna be somewhat longer and I don't I don't really know anymore what to film. My motivation is gone because yeah, the last month was not the like the best month for me mentally. Didn't feel the best. Not sure if I wanna talk about it, but yeah, that is also the reason why I'm not really motivated. I wanna work more and just build on my future, so if you have some nice words, put them in the comment section down below. And I might just upload food stuff where I make some meals and just enjoy them. Mm. Just make homemade food and just enjoy it. Mm. Here we go. Three tacos gone. And this just fired up my appetite. I will make some sweet potato fries and something else. So let's see what I can figure out. So here we go. For my dinner, I'm gonna have two small sweet potatoes, which I'm gonna cut up and fry. I'm gonna have one bun with two bratwurst or two sausages. And I'm gonna have this tripod. No, I'm just kidding. So this will be my breakfast or my dinner. I did wash the sweet potato. I will have the skin on. So I love the crispy skin on the fries. I've never had sweet potato fries. Let's cut it up and fries, just thin slices, so I have a lot of them. So as you can see, sweet potato cut in fries. Here we go, cut up two sweet potatoes, so I've got a lot of fries, and I'm gonna bake the the sausage. What I'm gonna do is use some, some, fly, some flour oil, swirl it around, so I'm gonna take it out, pinch some holes in the sausage. Here we go, got some holes in the sausage, and I'm just gonna bake them. Fry them as well. So two sausages. Now let's fry the sweet potato. So I am in my backyard, in the cabinet of my backyard, and we do have a frying pan. So I already preheated it. I have my sweet potato fries right here. I'm just gonna put it in right there and just gonna fry it up. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna close it, wait like 10 minutes, and because I am in my backyard, we have this fridge in the back with a lot of delicious stuff. So my mom made these like Balkan treats like last week. This like chocolate biscuit and coconut covered treat, which, which is called chupavtse. So here we go, I'm gonna have it while I'm waiting on the fries. Mmm. They are the best when they are cold, like ice cream. It has this like chocolate biscuit with a cream filling and it's covered in coconut. And it is just so delicious, guys. I could eat 100 of these, but I'm not gonna have it. I'm gonna close it up, wait for my fries. I will have something sweet later on, so. And check in with you with the finished meal. And this is what I like to do guys when I don't count and just want to have fun and I like to eat simple meals and things that I crave so this meal is really simple nothing too crazy Like come on guys look at this delicious meal So I've got the sweet potato fries and here I have like one bun and I thought you know what Let's cut the sausage in half and just add two more small buns So on this big bun I have like barbecue sauce and cheddar cheese and on these small buns I have ketchup mustard of course mustard with the sausage with the broth Washed and I've got some cheddar cheese as well on them. I know there should not be cheese on this, but hey guys, I love my cheese. Look at this beautiful plate, guys, with the sweet potato fries. I did add some cayenne or paprika powder at the end and some sea salt, so yeah, it's gonna be so tasty. And the bratwurst, of course. This is what I'm gonna do with my cheat meals or my cheat days. This is what I'm gonna do once a week and I'm gonna film it. So I'm gonna upload one video a week where I'm just gonna eat things that I crave. So I'm just not counting, so I don't know the calories, don't know the macros I'm just gonna eat and just enjoy life right now and this is basically the first time for me trying sweet potato fries I've never fried sweet potatoes so here we go let's see if it's any good mmm it's way better it's not as crispy as I thought or as, as, as it should be but it is way better than when you put it in the oven cayenne powder on there or paprika powder which gives like a smoky taste to it with the sea salt, mmm, so delicious. I will eat the sweet potato fries with some low-fat mayonnaise. This is the only mayonnaise I have at home. And reduced sugar ketchup. So, I'm just gonna add some ketchup and mayonnaise. Enjoy it. And guys, here we go. I'm gonna give you a bite of the bratwurst with cheddar cheese and the mustard. So, here we go. 
Oh, I just close it up. Delicious. Delicious beauty right here sticking out. Let's try it out with the cheddar cheese if it's any good. Mmm, the mustard. Straight away the kick from the mustard. Or oh, the cheddar cheese as well. The sharpness of the cheddar cheese and the kick of the mustard and some kind of like sweetness of the ketchup. Whoa. And the soft bun. This is like a brioche soft bun which is as well some somewhat sweet. The sausage is fatty so I've got all my pellets, my mouth like it's covered with saltiness, sweetness, the kick. Mmm. The bun is like really soft. Well, this is a delicious meal. Now just one more thing left just to enjoy this meal. Delicious meal. Oh, as well, I have some Coke Zero because I'm on a, on a diet. <laughs> here we go. Mmm. Delicious craving meal right here. And guys, let me know in the comment section, do you love mayonnaise or do you love ketchup with your fries? I'm a mayonnaise and fries type. I like mayonnaise with my fries more than ketchup. Mm. But what I do think would fit well with sweet potato is peanut butter sauce. I think peanut butter sauce with sweet potato is way tastier, but hey, mayonnaise will do for me. with the meal and guys I've got the bun left and I've got some fries left so let's think out of the box shall we let's take the fries and just put them on top of the sausage close the bun and let's try this out you can see the delicious bun the cheddar cheese the sausage and I've got the sweet potato fries right there so let's go and try it out let's see if this is any good Look at this guys, look at this mess. It is a big mess, but it is a delicious mess. Mm. This is to all my German people out there. My brother, Alan, 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 with his shisha. Mm. Hmm? You just can't go wrong here. <laughs> I must say, this was a really good decision. The sausage sandwich. Mmm, on point. It is now 6.30 to show you. Oh, turn it around. 6.30, I will have one more dessert later on. Just something that I crave. I'm not sure what I will have, but I will have something sweet. So here it is. It is 9 o'clock at night, and I do have this bowl right now. Let's make something epic, shall we? So you don't need to be creative to make something delicious and epic. What you need, ice cream, just get a lot of it in the bowl right there. Almost half of the container. Let's do a bit more. Then you just need some creamy chocolate custard and pour it on your ice cream in the bowl. This is a whole container which is 500 milliliters gone right here. Then nothing to it. Slice up a banana and add that to the mix. Then take a white lion, open it, again slice this beauty in there. And if one isn't enough, grab two guys. Grab two, slice it in. And to finish it off, I gotta have some cookies, so I'm gonna have Oreo crispy and thin cookies right here. I'm just gonna crumble it on top again. Guys, cheat day shouldn't be fancy. You just gotta eat what you crave, or in my case, what I have left over at home. <laughs> and that is basically it. A delicious junk bowl.
And we are in the backyard. Look at this epic bowl of sweets, of junk food. Guys, I am craving just a junk bowl, a simple thing to hit my sweet tooth. I had Oreos, I had White Lion, I had ice cream at home and the custard. So I, I made a junk bowl, which I crave so bad. And this is like the point where I'm kind of gonna binge right now. I'm craving something sweet. I've had all savory and fatty stuff today. And if this if isn't enough, I'm gonna have some Nutella and donuts after this junk bowl. So I gotta hurry up. It is ice cream, it is melting. I'm gonna show you the time. It is now 9.19 at night. I'm gonna finish this, go to bed. You just can't go wrong with ice cream, toppings and custard. Mmm. And I added the banana just to hit one serving of fruit of the day. Might add some few Oreos. But you know what, Here, here's the ice cream. Mmm. With the Oreo, mmm, cookies and cream, ice cream. Nothing beats a good junk bowl. Mmm. The white lion right there. Mmm, white chocolate. The crunch, you can't beat that. And the Oreo, of course, so damn good. The ice cream. Mmm. You know what, guys? I'm missing something right here. I don't want to eat too many, like, Oreos. I do want, want something with a crunch. There we go. Oh yeah. I said this morning, I like the Cinnamon Toast Crunch a lot more dry, so hey, this is the perfect situation to add the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Because I'm not having any milk, I'm just having ice cream, which is like almost melting. So here we go, some more cereal. <laughs> this is just a dream bowl, guys. A dream, dream bowl. That crunch with the cost, oh, this was the perfect. Best idea ever. Mm. Leave out the Oreos, the crunchy cereal. Mm. And somehow with the ice cream. Perfect combination. Damn, this bowl was freaking delicious. Wow. Such a great idea, adding the cinnamon toast crunch or the strawberry toast crunch. Here we go, the whole bowl is gone. And now it's time for some more dessert. I'm gonna have some mini chocolate donuts and I'm gonna have some Nutella. I'm gonna take some Nutella right here. And yes, guys, I'm gonna spread it on the donut and just look at this beauty and of course you gotta eat it <laughs> oh my god it's like really soft donuts and just with the nutella you are just in a dream right here <laughs> oh my god this is damn good and of course i'm gonna have another one here we go some more nutella the donut right there mm. I'm just gonna shut my mouth and enjoy this. This is heaven. Mm. Perfect donut. I'm just gonna finish these three small donuts with the Nutella, of course. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Nutella and donuts. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it.
So what I'm gonna try out right now, something different but crazy. So I spread some Nutella on the donut, cinnamon toast crunch, and sprinkle some on the donut. Let me go and try this out for you. Donut with Nutella and cinnamon toast, strawberry flavored crunch. Hmm, oh, the Nutella and the toast. Just insane. My last donut and Nutella and that's gonna be it. Just so good. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm. Whew, that is it guys. My junk bowl is gone. Like eight, no seven donuts with Nutella. Got some Oreo, got some cinnamon toast crunch right there. So this was an epic cheat meal at night. So the whole day was okay. I ate what I craved, but this was like a binging session. So it is now, let's see, almost 10 o'clock, 9.45 exactly. And this is the end of the video. So I'm gonna keep it mostly raw. Cheat day video, so I hope you enjoyed this. And I'm just gonna upload one video a week. I will do more cheat meals or cheat days. Depends on how I feel. If I feel like I don't wanna have a cheat day, I'm just gonna have a cheat meal. This is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you did, please guys, come on, hit that thumbs up button. Do it so I know you enjoyed these videos. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe on my YouTube channel at Live Life. Follow me on Instagram at DarkRobunich if you wanna be the first on these videos. Turn on your notification bell right there. You will be notified when the videos are up. And guys, I hope you have a great day, great night, whatever it is in life. Do what you want. Do it now. I dare you. Live life. Peace.